Hey guys, um, wanted to do a short video today, super short video, warning about something that is one of those things that probably is more hidden. Um, and you know, this this YouTube is uh, focusing on exposing the schemes of the enemy. And um, just having that discernment for these uh, days of Noah and what I'm seeing is that, um, sorry for the car sounds, what I'm seeing is that we are seeing kind of a lot of, you know, back, back in the Bible that it talked about the um, Babylonian and Egyptian uh, gods and goddess worship, right? This polytheistic type worship, the temples and all these things. And so what I want to expose is this is still and has still been going on, but it's been in, in secret and it's been hidden. Thus, the name the occult, which uh, stands or set, supposed to mean hidden. But anyways, what I want to expose and shine the light of Jesus Christ on is the jewelry industry. And before I go into this, I just want to give you an example of how this kind of how the Lord kind of got my attention with this. So I was maybe saved about a year and a half is when the Holy Spirit started to kind of um, remove some scales from my eyes. And, um, I, I, I'm, I don't know how to say this, but it was like that my discernment started to, you know, perhaps one could say that I was, uh, given the gift of discernment, but I believe we all have discernment, but something happened about a year and a half after I was saved. And suddenly the, the Lord was just sort of showing me things that I didn't notice before. So I don't really know, uh, what you would call that. And I mean, I call it the gift of discernment, but I don't want to sound I don't want someone to confuse that with the uh, with the NAR, which is anti-biblical. So, but anyway, you can have you can you can believe in the gifts without being um, you know hyper charismatic. So, but that's another conversation for another day. But so I I, I wore this outfit at, from Target and I bought sorry I bought this kimono from Target. I don't shop at Target anymore. I know that's another controversial thing. <laughs> But anyway, um, that was, I bought this kimono from Target and it was, you know, super trendy, super cute. I wore it to work at the time I was working a nine to five. I come home and I'm telling you early days, I heard the voice, the voice of the Lord so much um, more clearly. And, um, I just, you know, it was so clear. And, and nowadays, of course, I still occasionally hear the voice of the Lord, but it, it's, it's more of a conviction. And it's, um, of course I hear him through reading the Bible, but I'm not a cessationist. So I do believe he speaks because that's how he pulled me out of uh, all this new age and Wicca stuff. So, but, um, but in the early days I heard it, heard him speak, um, more, if that makes sense. But anyway, I heard him say, you know, take that off referring to the the kimono. So I thought, are kimonos bad? And so I took it off and I just, I asked the Lord, you know, why could he show me like, why, why, what was wrong with this? Why is this, uh, this outfit sinful? And, um, I just looked at it again and that had these little graphics on, so there's stripes on here, but this had these little tiny graphics and I didn't really see what they were until the Lord showed me what they were. And I'm not kidding. I am not kidding. It was tiny little horns, like little horn up here, horn up there with a little circle, you know, little Baphomet horns, but so tiny that you wouldn't notice it. It just looked like a cute little graphic. And I'm telling you what, that, that really kind of, I guess woke me up to use that that phrase but it did it kind of made me go wait a minute we really are in this pagan world and we are you know set apart and and um we're a set apart people and so we don't belong now in this world and so um it just really was the, kind of the beginning of me noticing that and the and the crazy thing was I started to notice it these horns in jewelry trends and more and more now. And um, I sometimes notice it in the movie industry, which of course we know Hollywood has this uh, witch, witchcraft uh, history with Bohemian Grove. And uh, I wouldn't, I would caution not to do such a deep, deep dive into that. Cause at some point it's focusing on the evil deeds of people, of evil people. And we don't want to do that, but just know that they really do use like, there's a, teacher called or a pastor I don't know I don't know if he's a pastor but Billy Crone talks about this and he's a former new ager um he got into some occult stuff and he talks about how the movie industry um is doing some um 
subliminal messages or something. So my point in all this is to say that these, these, these people still worship these Egyptian and Babylonian gods, and apparently they're powerful people in uh, business industries and Hollywood and all types of industries. Um, it never died away. They never died off, I should say. Every time I try to expose this, I'm telling you there are jet planes and trucks and I tried to park far away. It's, this is how, I did another video like this before and it was the same thing. So uh, we'll just try to hang in there. Oh, look my bangs, that's a new hairdo for, for, my, uh, for my look. I don't know, anyway, okay. So when you're going to Walmart, Target, and even, I, I was really sad to see this at a Christian, or as a faith-based fashion um, store, a retail store called Kato, C-A-T-O, they have these symbols and it's it's the half moon, it's the upside down half moon. Okay, so we all know the, the, the half moon crescent has been around since the 70s and the hippies wore it and stuff. I mean, that does represent the moon goddess. Like the Bible talks about these moon worshipers. Um, and, you know, there's, there's moon deities, pagan deities, this and that and this and that. Um, so, but back in like 10 years ago or so when I was in the New Age and I was uh, dabbling in Wicca and whatnot, um, I never wore this symbol because I, would, I never considered myself like a true Wiccan. I, so, I, I sort of thought I was just in a goddess group and that I, would, I, would, I was adding things along to my childlike belief in, in God and Jesus. But I did know of... I did see some girls wear it, but uh, I think all, all that to say, it depends on how serious someone is with Wicca that they would wear the upside down moon symbol, but it's a horn. It's not just a moon symbol. It's got these pointed ends, so it goes like this. And it's not just like an upside down circle or half circle. It's not like a horseshoe, um, even though I would argue that, that that could be a precursor perhaps, but it's a specific looking horn. Um, and then I've seen those a lot and then I've also seen just a lot of like uh, online I've seen deer antlers and stuff and of course that you know we know Wicca with the horned god the um, the uh, what's it called I can't remember it's from the movie the uh, and the book the mist of Avalon um, that he dresses up with deer antlers and stuff but I mean you know I'm not saying hunting cabins and people who have like deers mounted on the wall are worshiping some kind of nature God or Wiccan God. I'm just saying, please use discern sorry, please use discernment um, with all this crazy stuff going on right now because there's a lot of stuff that is really anti God. Um, and I'm team Jesus, so I really don't want to be unintentionally wearing stuff that um, you know people pro produced to try to, you know, put one past me. You know, I, I don't like that feeling. I don't like that feeling of, of like supporting this industry, industry, uh, of people like trying to kind of hide the, their, um, their horned God worship. So that's going to be on a case by case basis, you know, do as you are convicted, but I didn't want you to not know this information. So I'm telling you, uh, it's really popular with Wiccans. Of course, so, so is the, um, you know, the, 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 what's it called? The um, pentagram. I can't even think of it. I never wore one of those. I never wore the half moon crescent either, but um, there's a lot of moon jewelry you'll see in, in uh, New Age and Wicca. Moons, of course, crystals. Crystals are huge. Wearing a crystal has become very fashionable. And sadly, um, it, it back again, 10 years ago before Jesus saved me, wearing a crystal indicated that you uh, were spiritual and not religious. A crystal was a universal indicator that you pretty much believed that all paths lead to heaven, that you were progressive, uh, and that you were perhaps into spiritism, what the Bible calls spiritism, which God calls witchcraft, like tarot cards, divination, psychics, um, you know, thinking that crystals can bring you uh, things, you know, the crystal is like some sort of talisman and it, and it like, you know, maybe heals your chakras and stuff. And crystals were synonymous with yoga and all the, all the spiritual stuff, chi, all of it. Um, everybody in that community, uh, from, from acupuncture to yoga, to psychics, all the, all the, all the things, they all wore crystals. And so now I look around and see church going women, perhaps, you know, I haven't seen it at my church. So I shouldn't say that, but I just want to say that, you know, it's marketed as completely mainstream. That's disturbing to me. Really, truly it is. So there's that too with the crystals. I'm trying to think of anything else. Oh, the evil eye. 
It's just a lot of eyes and fashion lately, eyes everywhere, which, you know, a little creepy if you, I mean, to me personally it is, but to me, I, I was into the evil eye, which is a, a mysticism. It's a Kabbalah thing. And, you know, the uh, Messianic Jews even warn about this. So I'm not trying to be, you know, um, you know, too controversial. Like if you'll, if you'll find some Messianic Jewish ministries online, they will warn about the Kabbalah. So, um, you know, the evil eye is a superstitious belief that it scares off demons. So um, it's basically superstitious um, occult type thing. Believe, believing something like an object has power in and of itself to to repel or ward off demons. It's kind of like how people are using, Christians are using sage or they're believing that they can ward off demons in that way. So anyway, this is all the new age sneaking in to culture, to mainstream culture. And then when you when you speak uh, God's truth to it, uh, you will probably sound a little crazy uh, because the world is doing its level best to normalize these uh, these things. But um, that's okay because we're not supposed to be um, accepted by the crowd if we're um, surrender to Jesus. So I'm going to make this short video. It's 11 minutes in. Um, ask me any questions. If you've seen any jewelry trends that you think are new age kind of sneaking into mainstream um, fashion culture and things like that, it's just good to be aware of, I think. Good to talk about. I'm not trying to shame anybody or anything like that. We do have freedom in Jesus Christ, but at the same time, um, I thought it was interesting that the Lord told me to take that kimono off and I looked and saw those little horns and I'm telling you what now, I do not want to wear any horned uh, necklace, any horned jewelry. I don't want it. And I mean, obviously I wore it in the new age. I wore like a single horn like, um, thing, which is one little horn. Uh, and it's supposed to be like a hunting thing, like um, a, it looked like a boar's tooth or something, but I just don't want to wear it. But um, I'm not gonna sit around and judge everybody that's wearing it. I just want you to be aware um, of the last thing I forgot to say, typical me, um, these images were used to uh, put on the idols like for Isis. If you'll look up a statue of Isis, um, this same little upside down, except for her it was right side up, it was a little U shape with little horns on the side. And then Baal and M Molech or whatever you say his name had the horned, um, you know, the horns. And so this is biblical. This is not just like, it's not just like, oh, the Wiccans are doing this, so we shouldn't do it. This is biblical. And they had these on these idols. So um, yeah, just be praying about that and pray for the Lord for discernment in these evil days. And uh, just uh, the Lord protects us in these days of Noah. And um, I believe that we're getting closer um, as a community, as a, not a community, but as a church, online church, we're getting closer when we share these things and help each other and iron sharpens iron. And I do believe we, of course, are getting closer to Jesus's return. And that is our hope. So anyway, love you guys. Have a blessed day. Bye.